Well, the stories we've covered tonight are not the kind of stories that you're typically going to see in the media. They've got their own agenda, and abortion is actually part of their agenda. You know, if we had a situation where we had 3,000 people killed in a day, that might be a really big news story, wouldn't it? It might be something on the order of September 11th. But that is what happens every day with abortions. We have that many lives lost every day through abortion. And not only that, but if we had a story, imagine if we had a story where there were heinous details about decapitation and mutilation. Uh, that might also make the news. But it's not making the news in the Philadelphia abortion trial of uh, Dr. Gosnell. The uh, media is not reporting some of these things. Listen to this. Infant beheadings, severed baby feet in jars, a child screaming after it was delivered alive during an abortion procedure. Haven't heard about these sickening accusations? Well, it's not your fault because it's not being covered in the media. We have uh, quotes from uh, people who have worked as staff there who say that it would rain fetuses, fetuses and blood all over the place. That's what he said in the trial. But here's the headline that the Associated Press put on their story about the testimony that saw 100 babies born and then snipped. He says, the headline read, Staffer describes chaos at Pennsylvania abortion clinic. And that last picture that you saw up there, the empty uh, benches, that is, those are benches that are reserved for the media to cover this trial. Yeah, that's right, you don't see anybody there, do you? Well, it also said in this op-ed piece, and this actually came from USA Today, surprisingly, they said a LexisNexis sh search shows that none of the news shows on the three major network television stations has mentioned the Gosnell trial in the last three months. The only exception was when they were talking about anti-abortion laws and Peggy Noonan threw this into the mix. So it wasn't even planned. Well, we're going to be talking about media bias right after the break. We've got a couple of people here on the staff that you don't normally see in front of the camera. And they're going to tell you about the National Association of Broadcasters. And they're going to tell you about some stories they saw there as well as what they saw about media consolidation. We'll be right back after the break. Stick with us. Ask yourselves, what are you doing in this time of great challenge? What are you doing to unlock minds? 